nice weather today because that was pretty good. Um, I think our guys had a little more energy because there was no sun out here. But with that, I'll just open it up. I'm ready for your questions. So many injuries out there. Yeah. Just how are you trying to rotate everybody and mix and match? Just, you know, you do have a preseason game. For yeah, I mean, the silver lining is we got guys that would normally get all these reps. But I'm, I'm like you guys. I'm in the middle of practice looking at this tent, you know, where we got all those white jerseys in there working out with – no equipment on, but it's something we got to fight through. We'd like to get start to get some of these guys back. I mean, uh, Jalen got out there today. Uh, I think uh, Nazi got some reps, which is good. But you know, we got some other guys in there now. Have you noticed uh, Drew Tranquil kind of uh, coming out of his shell a little bit physicality and intensity wise in year two now? Yeah, he's he's been terrific. Um, he kind of elevates all of the competition, I think, on both sides of the ball. He loves football. He loves being out there. I mean, I saw glimpses of it last year, but when you're new, it's your first year. You know, you're trying to feel your way through. But um, uh, he's been great. I think the guys will tell you that they feed off of him. Sport from Fox Sport Mexico. You have a lot of fans in Mexico. The Chiefs have a lot, a lot of fans. So my question is: Last year, you was the defense number two in the NFL, and uh, this uh, for this uh, season, you lost uh, uh, a sneak. It's a very, very very important guy or was a very important guy. In which point you are working to be stronger your defense last, that last year? Yeah, well, <laughs> I wish we could take all those stats from last year and use them for this year, but they, they really don't mean anything now. I mean, every year is different. Uh, we're starting from scratch again from, um, you know, the bottom rung and work our way up. I mean, we'd like to, I mean, we've challenged each other, I'm talking about defensively, to be as good if not better than last year, but we're gonna to have to take it one game at a time, and we know this first one's gonna be a pretty, pretty difficult one. Yeah. Steve, are there young guys you're particularly eager to see on uh, Saturday night? Saturday's after? game, yeah. Uh, back end always, Adam, because um, you know we we want to see what we got going on there. We've had some injuries, and then the continuity and the chemistry of those young guys who will communicate in the heat of battle. You know, sometimes when it's controlled here, but they kind of getting into a real game atmosphere. Biggest thing is I want to see guys that are unknown to me from their toughness and tackling. Those would be the two big things. When you say guys at the back end, young guys, you yeah. about Hicks number one? Or? Uh, yeah, Jay, no, all, of, all of them really. Jay Kamal, um, you know, even guys that, uh, I mean, Echo didn't play a lot back there last year, right? Um, guys that haven't had a lot of time back there, I'd like to see those guys. And, you know, all the young guys, obviously. I mean, I told them in the meeting, you know, I. The guys that I've been around that are here, I know which guys are tough and which guys are fake tough. I mean, I'm trying to find out if guys are tough enough to play in this league and do the things we need to do. Steve, Steve you've uh, got a couple of undrafted linebackers with uh, Curtis Jacobs and Swazi Rose, but both of them look like they can yeah. you know, have good moments. What have you kind of learned about them so far? Yeah, uh, Swayze's a real sweet. I tell you, if you. Well, if you saw her when, when, when the guy's on here, Swayze, like, hangs on to Jack Cochran. Like, you know, I mean, he's, he's right in his hip pocket all the time, and that's a good move by Swayze because Jack is real smart. Swayze's really kind of taken on that same thing. He's been physical out here. I'm anxious to see what he does. And Curtis, you know, has played a, the one position and uh, kind of feeling his way through. Got a couple things he needed to work on today that I, that I happen to notice, uh, but really anxious to see what both those guys do. Learn from the defensive line now that you put on some pads. I know you're not hitting, but yeah. you're not the pads on. What have you learned? Well, we got a physical group. Um, the hard thing is we don't really know where we're at against the run. We don't see a lot of runs. We're not we're not tackling live. So I'd like to we'd like to see that. But the block destruction and uh, how the linebackers function off of our D linemen is always really important. But the one thing about the guys, the group that we have in the D line right now. Uh, all of them have been in the – most of them that we're going to rely on have been in the system for a while. So, you know, this part of it's – we're ahead of the game there. Yeah, at what point do you start to worry with Justin Reed about how much time he's missed versus yeah. his preparedness for the season? Well, I think he'd tell you that he'd like to be out here. I mean, he really would. It's just one of those – I don't know. It's one of those things that you, you don't – what you don't want to do is come back early and then set it back. Uh, so I think Rick and him are being cautious of that. But – you know, Justin's been around long enough that I think he'll know when that time is. And we, we need him in there. We need him. You, guys are running, the last two. you guys are running Shamari everywhere. You know, we don't know the assignments. How is yeah. he doing in terms of what he's you're doing? He's doing good. You know, it was a little, rust, a little rusty and shaky early. Uh, but, you know, he's Trent and, and B. Cook and Drew and Nick, they all kind of rally around him. I, we think he's got some talent and can do some, do some things for us. But we have put him in positions that are a little foreign to him. Uh, and we're just going to see where we're at. We need to get out and 
play some other people, see what happens. Yeah, Steve, earlier you said the, the competition for the second quarterback spot was wide open. Now that you're going to get into the exhibition, what characteristics are you hoping to sort of shine for that player to sort of grab that spot? Yeah, uh, you know, the mental part of it's going to be first. And then you, you need that guy to be as productive as wh whoever we put out there corner-wise. But you know, we're trying to find those guys that, that know what they're doing and can make plays doing it. And you know, we got some guys that we that that can can work there. We just got to find out which one surfaces to become that that two. Okay? Yeah. Good. Thank you.